Testimonials are a great way to prove that your services work. No other form of advertising is more effective than satisfied clients sharing their positive experiences with your firm. So whenever you have an articulate client willing to share a compelling success story, capture it. But capture it well. This video is part one of a two-part series that will teach you how to shoot testimonials correctly. In this video, we'll focus on the technical fundamentals. So, let's get started. Where you shoot testimonials is just as important as what the clients say. After all, if the background is distracting, the viewer may discredit what's being said. To ensure that doesn't happen, sit your subject down in a quiet room with a basic background or in a quiet, well-lit room with about five to 10 feet between the subject and the back wall. Here are a few examples of good locations. Notice that in each of these examples, the subject is well lit with most of the light hitting their face. The background is not distracting and the area is generally quiet and calm. Find a place similar and you should be fine. Now that you've found a good location, here are some important tips before you start shooting. Prepare your subject. You want the viewer concentrating on the story. Before you begin shooting, take a minute to set your subject up for success. Ask them to sit up straight and speak clearly. And if possible, have them remove clothing with distracting logos. Stabilize the shot. One thing all good interviews have in common is consistency. Place your camera on a tripod for maximum stability. If you absolutely must make adjustments during the course of an interview, make them in between questions. A simple adjustment to a shot in the middle of a question or answer could render that footage useless. Frame up your subject correctly. A good rule when shooting interviews or testimonials is to make sure that your subject's entire upper body is in the shot. In other words, from the middle of the torso to the top of the head should be on camera. Also, make sure there's a little room above their head. This is called headroom. Set the camera at eye level and have the subject speak directly to the lens. Get good audio. To ensure you get crisp, intelligible audio, use a separate external microphone like this, or a lavalier microphone like this. When attaching a lavalier microphone, clip it to the subject's collar or lapel so that the mic itself doesn't rub against any other clothing or become obstructed in any way. You want there to be nothing between the subject's mouth and the microphone that could compromise audio quality. If the room is quiet and the camera is close to the subject, the camera's internal microphone can do in a pinch, but use it only as a last resort. Make sure to monitor the audio quality with a pair of headphones throughout the shoot. Use auto settings. Unless you're a master videographer or know the camera you're using backward and forward, always set the camera settings to auto. This will eliminate the need to constantly worry about the camera so you can focus all of your attention on the interview. That's it. Follow these simple shooting tips and you'll be halfway to capturing great testimonials. If you have any questions, call us or send us a picture of what you've set up. We'll help you troubleshoot any problems that we might see. In part two, we're gonna talk about content, how to conduct an interview, what questions to ask, and most important, how to capture that marketing mojo that money just can't buy.